This segment will provide operating and maintenance tips for your Craftsman 85-pound push broadcast spreader. Make sure to read the information on the chemical package for directions and cautions on handling and applying. Always wear eye and hand protection when handling or applying lawn or garden chemicals. Never allow children to operate the spreader. Do not use powdered lawn chemicals. They do not give a satisfactory or consistent broadcast pattern. Estimate the size of the area to be covered and calculate the amount of material required. Set the adjustable stop according to the flow settings recommended on the application chart. Also refer to the instructions in the packaging for the material to be spread. Make sure the control lever is in the off position. Then, fill the hopper, breaking up any lumpy fertilizer. Start the spreader in motion and then pull the control lever to the on position. Always move the control lever to the off position before turning or stopping. To ensure uniform coverage, make each pass so that the broadcast pattern slightly overlaps the pattern from the previous pass. The approximate broadcast width for different materials are shown on the screen. For rectangular areas, make two passes across the short ends to create turning areas. For non-rectangular areas, make two passes around the entire border. When broadcasting weed control fertilizers, make sure the broadcast pattern does not hit evergreen trees, flowers, or shrubs. Empty the spreader after each use, storing the leftover material in its original bag. To maintain your spreader, oil the free spinning wheel once a year, or more often as needed. Oil the nylon bushing in the frame tube once a year, or more often with heavy use. Apply a light coating of grease to the gears as needed. Before each use, thoroughly inspect your spreader for loose nuts, bolts, or other parts. Secure any loose parts before use. Make sure the tires are adequately inflated. Do not inflate beyond the maximum pressure printed on the tire. Overinflated tires can explode, causing serious injury. Use a hand pump to safely inflate the tires. Empty the spreader after each use, storing leftover materials in their original bag. Rinse the inside of the hopper and the exterior of the spreader and dry off before storing. Then store in a clean, dry area. Make sure to read the manual for other important safety, operation, and maintenance tips.